welcome to Life with Belsov. I'm your host, Belsov. Freaking right I am. Today on Life with Belsov, I've got a little dilemma in the old Silverado that's been bugging me for a while. I think I'm gonna fix it right now. So, as you know, I got two ports, USB ports here in the dash, boys. And I got one in the secret compartment. I got a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Well, the old radio here that I use for, you know, 10 foreign and whatnot, it doesn't have a battery, it only has a port. <laughs> Right? So all these wires and stuff coming off my dash are constantly in my way. So what I want to do is I want to put a cigarette lighter back up here and put a, a USB port in here along with this one. So I have USB and cigarette lighter down here, USB and cigarette lighter on the dash. So first thing we got to do is try to get this damn thing unhooked, which is a real pain in the ass, boys, to be honest with you. I started doing this and uh, thought it would be a piece of cake to unplug the cigarette lighter, but being a good old GM, they don't give you any extra friggin' wire. So if you can see in here, that's as far as that thing will go, boys. Just like that, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So we got to try to unhook it, unplug it. Almost been impossible so far, and I might have to go and get a cigarette lighter out of my drawer that was in the dash to figure out how the heck to get this out. Like, why wouldn't they give you more wire than that? Like, how are you supposed to work on anything like that, boys? Fucking stupid. Man, man, I tell you, there's some smart people in this world, especially engineers, boys. And if you're an engineer and you're watching this, I apologize. But you people are sometimes. I'm an engineer, I know everything. No, you're an engineer, you know fuck all. No offense. <laughs> I love you. Sorry about that, boys. I was just kidding, eh? If you're an engineer. But there we go. We got unplugged. It is just a push little pin. It's just a real bitch to get to. So I'm going to make that longer. There we go. It's out. See? And on this side, there's nothing. So that's where I'm putting one. But I have one other dilemma. I got to get this faceplate off. And the more I think about it, I'm pretty sure that I had to make these holes bigger for these USB ports. So I'll resituate the camera and we'll pull this around. Just so you know too, this thing here, boys, if you have a Chevy Silverado, there's some push pins right on the sides that you got to try to get in and push them in and it releases it. So it's not the easiest thing to get out, but once you figure it out. You can see it. See the push pins? Decent. And there's six of them. Friggin' right there is. But I'm gonna vacuum this while I'm in here because it's just decker. Maybe I'll just get my air and give her a blowjob, boys. That's what I'm thinking. So, next thing we need to do is turn the camera. You're not gonna be able to see nothing. Let's try you on the other side. All right. <laughs> so, the dash piece here. Frick, I can't get you zoomed in too much. I can't even see myself. <sighs> Pardon me. So on the dash piece here, what we need to do is pop this off and uh, unhook these and then we can take them inside. So we can do all this at one time together. So this just kind of pops off too, like that. Just give her a yank, boy, she'll come. Freaking right it will. Now down here, it hooks underneath the dash a little bit. So you just gotta be kind of careful. And then of course, I've got the wires for the USB stuff. And then these just unplug, boys. Like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And then of course I have my uh, plug, and that's for the um, traction control button. Decent. So there we go, that's off. Piece of cake, eh? So now we'll go inside on the workbench, start doing some switching around, hopefully. All right, boys and girls, people. So we get these on the bench we do. And just so you know, before I start this, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. 12 volt with Bilsif. Hey, why wouldn't you? Always save your cigarette lighters when you pull them out of the truck, Jim, because you never friggin' know. And just so you know, it's day three of holidays. Corona's free, boys. Friggin' right I am, so far. So, always save your cigarette lighters you yank, because one day you might need them. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm going to attempt to pull this off and see if I can still get the other one to fit, boys, which will be interesting. But this just threaded in, so hopefully I can thread her out and pop the old one back together, Jim. And I'll come a little closer to you, see what I'm doing. So I just threaded these in, basically, and I don't think I had to uh, drill any bigger holes, I'm hoping. So this should just be a quick little Unscrew and uh, pop the old Siggy back in. Right? Hey, uh, frig. Boys, girls. There we go. Unthreaded, and it looks like I might not have cut too much off. So I'm hoping this piece will just pop right back in. And we're gonna find out shortly, and that one is broken. Friggin' right, I broke it. Why wouldn't I? Hold on, we should have another one here. Pretty sure I got a couple out of the sport track, too. Just saying. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. The Silverado one. Friggin' right, boys. So this one's chrome. This is the old sport track. This is the chrome Silverado. So hopefully, 
If I'm not mistaken, something looks cocked over, but anyways. So we'll stick this in the hole like this. See if we can't get her in, boys. Doesn't seem like I friggin' cut anything, so it should just slide right in. Maybe, hey, maybe. Oh, there, you gotta take this right out first, boys. Hey, pull the cigarette lighter out of the ring hole. Slide her in, Jim. Like that, slide the old stickerooski back in. And there is line up lines, but I don't know which way it goes. Couldn't tell you, really, to tell you the truth. So obviously that goes that way, which faces down. It should go in like this, is what it should do. And that's how it feels like she goes, boys. There, oh, there you go, it's in. Hey, that's all there is to it, Jim. Now, I don't really know what that's for sticking out of there, but hey, we'll leave her there. But anyways, at least I know that that went back in. And it won't fall out, so we're good on that one. So there we go, one down, Jim. Oh, that was a flapper to cover. Hey, it had a, a flapper on there, it did. The old cover flapper. So we'll trim that off, because I don't want that sticking out, because that'll just bug the hell out of me. There we go. Smooth now, hey? Friggin' right. So now all I gotta do is take this, which I left myself a lot of wire there, I did. Hey, can you see how much wire left? That's absolutely just, wonder if I can use this one from the old sport trackage. Let's see if this one plugs in. Sure it does, so see, Ford and Chevy, had sex before and they both fit in the same hole, Jim. So there you go. Friggin' right. And this one has more wire for me. So that part's done. I just gotta wire that up and uh, Bob's your uncle with that. So there's one done. So next, we gotta install this USB into the other side of this thing. Can you see one on that side? And we're gonna put one on this side, boys. So let's get the drill out and get a drilling. And I have just the perfect drill for that, I do. <laughs> Careful, easy. So step drills. Work really good for this, is what I use. So we need to go about right there, boys. I'm a good, I'm a person that just lines up my eyeball, I am. Ah! Ah! Oh, for <laughs> sakes. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's on the drill, you do. So always, whenever you're drilling these holes, just make sure you keep checking because you don't want to drill them too hard. And you don't want that to happen either. I'm gonna go one step at a time, boys, because there's nothing worse than having a hole that's too big. Jim, that should do her. Yeah, friggin' right. That's perfect, boys. It even threads. So there we go. Nice tight hole. It'll thread in. So there we go. Nothing friggin' to it. USB's on one side. Can you see? Probably not. Here, trying to get the right angle to dangle here for you. Anyways, USB's on this side, charge port on this side. Now all we gotta do is take a wire, make a split, and come across so we can plug it all together. And Bob's your uncle. So, we're gonna need a wire kit here, and we're gonna put two of them on this piece. That's my microphone's hanging down my ass. Can you can you even hear me? Probably not. How long has that thing been down there for? So we'll pull this off. We'll pull this off. Give him a twist. Make sure this is gonna fit, which it will really nicely and tightly. Actually, shirt rack ain't gonna work, boys, but we don't need her anyways, to be honest with you. So slide that on like that. We'll give her a crimp. Decent. And we'll slide this one on like this. And then you have to screw them in, you do. I'll tell you one thing, the Ford wiring is thicker than the Chev wiring. By a long shot. No wonder why Ford's burn up, because the wire's too big. So there we go, there's that one. I know I could have just cut it and spliced it into the other one, but I already have quick release tabs that pop in. So I'm also just use that and it'll be easier that way and Bob's your uncle. So that one's done. So now we just gotta make something for this one. I don't know if I got the right ends for this guy. Oh, there's one there. You kinda wanna make sure you have ones that cover the ends so there's no exposed doodads. So I'll put this one in the positive and the ground doesn't matter if it's exposed. So we'll just use a regular one for the ground, boy. So I know which one's what. So now I need a piece of wire. Hey, look at that. So here you go. I found a feasible link with the connections already on it, boys, in black and white. That is friggin' awesome. So see, I can just snap that on there, and I can snap this one on there, and then I can wire them right across to this one, boys. And then they have their own fuse. Let's make sure that the fuse is here, though. There sure is. What is it? I can't tell what fuse it is, but it's got a fuse. So we're golden. Almost like it was meant to be. Jim. So all we gotta do to that is just kinda cut them off, splice, and splice, boys. Cause all this is charging is a phone, so we don't need much current there anyways, to be honest with you. There we go. So, we're ready to go back to the vehicle now, already. Oh, just so you know, Traxxas ESC, boys, right there, hey, look at her. That was out of the old X-Max Ruski, and it was only about a month old, and they wanted to charge me shipping for that. So guess what I told them? Go fuck yourself. Why wouldn't I? That's why I don't like Traxxas Electronics too, just so you know. Let's go back to the truck and we'll do this one first. And hopefully my mic didn't fall off at the beginning of this video. Or I'll be cogged. 
All right, so normally I uh, solder and heat shrink everything, but I have no solder and I don't want to cut these wires right off. So I'm just gonna, what they call a splice and go, boys. So we're gonna start with the, the positive side. And I'm just gonna use my splice tools because that way it doesn't cut the wire. It just kind of splices it and we'll get it all taped up and safe. Well, then we do the negative. If you have to do it this way, that's the way you do it, boys. Use a Western Union friggin' twist method. If you can, but if you can't, just do it how I'm doing it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? We can always get back in here later and solder it, whatnot, and this, not, and the other thing. When you see what I'm done here, you'll see it'll be probably fine, boys. And I have fire and theft on my truck. So we're good to go. So if you have fire and theft in your truck, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? So give it another twist to Ruski. As tight as your hand will let you go. Because if you get old like me and you can't feel your fingers, kind of cocks you over real bad. So now we'll tape this one up, separate tape them, and then wrap them both. If you gotta do it this way, the redneck way, eh? That's how you do her, boys. So that's done. So now, I take a piece of loom and I stick it over both wires so there's no chance of it hitting any metal. And that's the way the dirty old Belsif does it. Right there. There it is, eh? Loom, wire's coming off it. The connections are in behind here, boys. So it has no way of touching that metal or nothing. You should be golden. Just watch out you don't touch this to metal or you'll blow the new fuse I just put in there. So I should get the air and blow that out while it's apart. This is the best vacuum they ever made right here. Decent. Now we can slap this back in. Oh, we got to screw around. I didn't want to make that longer. Now I'm going to kick myself right in the ass. So we'll do this first because it's easier to get to. We'll make sure lights on. On and working, boys. As you can see. Get 12.3 volts. Decent. So now we'll get this one back on. Somehow. Because it's a dick. <laughs> there it is. So now we can slide that in. Only way you hold your tongue. Come on, it's hooked on the goddamn cigarette later. But of all things to be hooked on, the one that's supposed to go in there. There it goes. Uh, sometimes you just gotta take a deep breath and get her in, boys. And that's it, it's in. So now I wanna check the cigarette later, make sure it works. Yup, full power. Hear it? Decent. So I wanna charge that up actually right now, I'll plug it in. Let her drain the battery of the truck, why wouldn't I? So see, now I can take my foam cord and I can run it out here like this, boys. Right through this hole, that's what it's designed for. The other one is for my camera, whether they want to charge, and I can plug it in the other one. There we go, there we go, decent, decent. Cords down on the ground where they're supposed to be. Leave a comment down below if you like that. Why wouldn't you? So here's the next part here that we got to put back in. So this one should be easy too, boys. And now see, this is why I wanted to put this connector on here because it makes it so much easier than rewiring all this. So I just plug in like that, plug in like that, and she's done. So now I'll just tape them up. That way, if I ever want to go back to a USB, I don't have to put new mark connectors on there, boys. Girls, peoples, she's freaking decent. Nothing like black tape. I know this isn't ideal, but trust me, it's fine. I know you're going to comment down below saying, oh, you didn't solder it. Oh, you didn't use loom. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. It really is. For this job. So we'll plug this back in. We'll plug this back in. We'll plug these back in. Negative, positive. Decent. Make sure it's working. Yep. 12.4 volts. We'll slide the USB plugs back in for the stereo that I never, ever, ever, ever use, but we'll slide them in there anyway. And then we'll be able to snap this back together, boys. Get it under the dash. There we go. Under the dash. There we go. Make sure everything's lined up. Don't push too hard until you make sure everything's going to go in. Nice. It's all in the way you hold your tongue, eh? Perfect. There we go. And now I have still two ports here in case I want to charge this. My little GoPro. These are down here out of the way. Not hanging off the dash like a big mess. This one can go in here and it works. There you go. Red light, boys. Yeah, we did. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you want to do this to your truck, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Honda, Mazda, Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, Tesla. Well, maybe not the Tesla. But hey, you can always try it. Friggin' right, you could. But anyways, hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am. Staying safe, not catching the Cronus, keeping yourself. And you know what to do for now.